Um, this one, Christian the lion, going to a little bit bigger animal. Um, two fellows moved from Australia to London. I'm going to say, judging by their clothes in, in the 70s. And um, they were at Harrods. They were shopping for holiday presents. One of them said, oh, man, I don't know what to get. And the other guy said, hey, you can buy anything at Harrods. This is no problem. We're going to have a field day. Well, they take about three steps more, and the child of these two people is for sale, <laughs> along with a, another little cub. And these guys look at this cub, and they say, oh, wait a minute. This is not right. What is this cub doing here? So they buy him. They take him home. They have a furniture store. They've just opened this furniture store. They take the cub home. For a while, the cub gets, you know, rain of the furniture store and sits in the window. And the name of the store is Sophisticat. Just completely beside the point, but obviously just to the point as well. They love this lion. They just absolutely adore him. They take him to the churchyard until he gets too big, and then he's scaring people. And then they can only take him to the churchyard at night. And is this a true story? True story. True story. Oh my gosh. So then one day the people who um, were in um, Born Free came in. So all the time these guys are going, you know, we love this lion, but you know, we can't live with this lion for the rest of our lives. What are we going to do? This lion has to be saved. People from this movie walk in and they say, what are you doing with the lion? Anyway, the lion gets rescued. Well, more rescued, I guess I would say and taken to Africa and settled in a, in a place, a preserved kind of place. But it goes through uh, meeting the other two lions, which was quite a, a wonderful story. The whole thing is absolutely wonderful. And they go back a year later, and the lion knows them, still knows these two guys. So um, there's this, which I would call the young adult version, but there's also a grown up version of this book. So if you had a younger person in your life who you wanted to read this with, you could read this, or they could read, you know what I mean. They could read this version, you could read the adult version. It's absolutely wonderful. And, and I'm crazy for children's books, I'm crazy for animals.